Let's talk about the on-running Cloud Stratus. So let's talk about some specs for this shoe. They have an eight millimeter drop. They weigh 305 grams. They are true to size. I have a size eight and they are 150 pounds. They have four colors for men and five colors for women. They are designed to be a performance shoe with maximum cushioning. It has dual CloudTech layers for horizontal and vertical cushioning. The connected four foot cloud elements distribute pressure as your foot lands. It has an asymmetrical upper with movement in mind. It's soft yet strong, optimizing comfort and airflow. It has a star lacing pattern, which helps the mesh hug your foot for more stability. And it has maximum cushioning, but still provides a great response. So let's talk about all the things that I like about this shoe. So the first thing is, I called it balance slash cushioning. And what I mean by that is the amount of cushioning there is and the amount of response that you get. So this has this double layer of cloud tech and it's the cushion on it is amazing. It's really good. The, the landing is incredible. You can run for miles in these, yet they are super responsive. So I've done a 40 mile day in these. Uh, it was two 20 mile runs, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Um, and my feet just felt great. The, they were so comfortable. The cushioning is just brilliant. And that was all on the road. No, it was trails, it was all road running. Um, and my feet just felt really great at the end, which is, like it's not often that happens to be fair like 40 miles usually makes your feet hurt um so yeah the the mix of of cushioning and responsiveness in this shoe is absolutely brilliant even today i just set a 10 mile personal best in these shoes so i've done 40 miles and the cushioning was great wonderful and then i've done 10 mile PB in the same shoe. It's designed for maximum cushioning, but it still gives you so much response that you can set a PB in it. It's, it's an absolutely brilliant shoe. So the next thing is airflow. The airflow in these is really good. Um, they're, they're super lightweight and they they just have lots of lots of little patches of airflow. The way they're designed, especially with the asymmetrical design, it means that you actually get a little bit more airflow on the outside here. Um, and it's just really good. They keep your feet really nice and cool. It was a really hot day today, actually, um, and my feet didn't overheat at all in this shoe. So the next thing I like is the comfort. So I think these are now the comfiest shoe I've ever run in. I think it's, it's a toss up between these and the Cloud Flow, and then the Cloud Flyer is super close behind. A little bit of an on-running fanboy, if you can't tell. Um, but yeah, these are really comfy, especially the midfoot. I love this star lacing pattern and this tongue and just the way it hugs your foot. I just, yeah, it's really comfortable. These are a super, super comfortable shoe. So then another like is the tread. Uh, so before I say anything about this, here is a quick video of me running up a road that was so wet, it was basically a river, and it's also a pretty steep hill. You can't really tell so much in the video how steep it is. But yeah, it's very steep. And they they just stick to the road. These are these are amazing. Uh, like soaking wet drain covers, don't slip. Leaves, mossy roads, yeah, they just don't slip. These just bind to the road. I, yeah, I love the trail on these. I, I think that with all on running shoes, I just think they've really got the tread down. Um, and it just works really well and it's really durable as well and I know that from having two pairs of cloud flows that I've put 700 miles on both pairs and the tread has not let me down at all even all the way up to that 700 mark so that's great and I, these are going to be the same I can just tell I've run about 250 miles in these shoes and yeah just tread not letting me down. Uh, so the next thing is the star lacing pattern. So this is good. I, I love this. I love the way it pulls the mesh in to hug your foot, but it also leaves room in the toe box. I really, really like that. Um, this is the same as on the cloud fly, which I've also done a review for. Uh, and this star lacing pattern is just brilliant. I, I think it's slightly different to how it's done on the, on the cloud flyer because the mesh is asymmetrical. 
Um, but the, the design of it, where it sort of, it kind of pulls it up a little bit higher, I feel it really helps your midfoot stay stable, but just leaves room for your toes. And I, I love that, I think it's brilliant. And then finally um, is the uh, the CloudTech itself. This is the first one with CloudTech where I don't have the issue with stunts. Um, now looking at it with this sort of big gap here, you'd think I would, but it just it just doesn't. You just I just don't get I don't get stones stuck in this one, um, which is absolutely amazing. And I've always thought of that as like a really small problem with the other shoes, um, but. Ha not having it in this is just a bonus and and I just I like I've I've just tried to think back like when did I when did I get a stone stuck in this last and I just can't think of a time when I actually got any stone stuck in it so that's really cool I bet there's a stone in it now no there's not good <laughs> okay so let's move on to a couple of dislikes so one of the dislikes is actually the toe box itself so I know I said the the there's a lot of room in the toe box and the star lacing pattern helps with that but there's one little thing with it where if you're running down a very steep hill and you're trying to run down slowly, you, I find that my foot actually like butts up against the end of it. Now, in any normal running situation, uphill, downhill quickly is actually fine, um, but on the flat, anything like that, it's fine, but it's only if I'm trying to run slowly down a hill. Now, this is the shoe that I use for ultramarathons. I'd never really want to push the pace on an ultramarathon, so if I'm running downhill on an ultramarathon, I'm trying to slow down, well, at least just not let it run away with me, um, and I actually find that my, my toes butt up against the end a little bit, which is a little bit annoying, but it's only if it's a really steep downhill. So that's that's just one thing that I've noticed. It's, it's, it's one thing that on a run, I just think, yeah, actually, that's that's I don't love that about it. Um, but in any other situation, yeah, I think it's great. If you do actually just open up your stride and just like go for it down the hill, well, not go for it, but just allow yourself, instead of trying to decelerate to preserve energy, if you just allow the hill to kind of take you, um, yeah, it's not a problem. And then my other dislike is actually the hill counter. So I mentioned about like how comfy it is, and I, I just think the heel counter could be a bit comfier. Um, and this is based on the fact that I've tried other on running shoes. So the Cloud Flyer, for example, has the same heel, well, at least very similar, but it's a lot plusher. And that one is so comfy. And it's the one thing I notice, and I always think when I run in these, I always think, oh, I really wish the heel of this was the same as the Cloud Flyer. Um, whereas when I run in the Cloud Flyer, I always think, oh, I really wish the tongue in the Cloud Flyer was the same as this one, because this one's got a lot thinner tongue. Um, so yeah, if I could kind of combine the two, that would be perfect. Um, it's not uncomfortable, but I just notice it. Um, and then I have, you can see here that it's actually worn a little bit here. Um, this is like the first sign of like any wear on the shoe. Uh, but yeah, I know that this does just a little bit, I just wish it was a bit plusher, um, just just for me, especially for like super long runs. If this just had a little bit more cushion in, it would be nice. So yeah, so as I said, I use these for all my ultras. So that is how I use this shoe. Basically anything over 15 miles, I pretty much use this shoe. Um, even if I want to push the pace, uh, I mean, if I'm really gonna go for a PB on anything below 20 miles, I'm probably gonna use the Cloud Flyer. I know I said I set a 10 mile PB in this earlier, um, but I actually did it by accident. Um, it wasn't the goal. Uh, it was nice though. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, but basically I've got seven ultramarathons coming up this year. Uh, I'm gonna use this shoe for all of them. Um, and yeah, I've got a 100 miler coming up and I'm hoping to buy another pair of this shoe for that 100 miler. That's gonna be in July and I will probably get a new pair of these in June to break them in ready for that 100 miler because every time I run in this shoe, my thought is like, oh yeah, I really wanna use this shoe on the 100 miler. So yeah, so in conclusion, I would say if you're running long miles, this is definitely a shoe for you. If you're doing anything half marathon and up, I think this is an absolutely brilliant shoe for you. If you're doing, if you're not really running any further than the half marathon, even even if maybe if you capped out at like 20 miles, I would say maybe this isn't the shoe for you. Um, maybe as a recovery shoe, it'd be really good. 
but it's, a, it's an expensive shoe for just a recovery shoe. Um, so unless you're really running marathons or ultras, I, I would maybe not go for this shoe. Um, or the other, the other time I would go for this shoe actually is if you are a heavier runner, um, actually this shoe would probably be really good for a heavier runner. But generally, if you're only doing like short miles, like 5Ks, 10Ks, I would probably go for something like the Cloud Flow or Cloud Flyer. But yeah, if you're pushing near marathon distance or want to push for ultra marathons and you're looking for an on-running shoe, definitely go with the Cloud Stratus. It is like the perfect shoe. It's absolutely amazing. However, I haven't tried the Cloud Ace yet and that looks wicked. So that will be next. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, if you have tried this shoe, uh, I've got an opinion on it, drop it down in the comments or if you want to try it, just any questions, drop them in the comments. I love responding to all of them. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm doing a lot more reviews. I'm going to hopefully be uploading one every other week. I've also got the 100 mile training diary going out. So basically I am doing an ultra marathon, which is going to be 100 miles. It's just a bit, it's a bit longer than that, but 100 miles sounds cool. Um, and I'm going to be towing my drum kit. So it's from Cardiff to my home county of Pembrokeshire in South Wales. Uh, and yeah, it's 100 miles towing a drum kit behind me on a trailer. And I'm doing that for the amazing charity, which is Cardiac Risk in the Young. And I will hopefully be doing it in these shoes. Um, so yeah, so if you'd like to follow along and support that journey, that'd be absolutely amazing. All the links are in the description. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I shall see you in the next one. Dis the, the, distribute pressure as your foot. Yeah, it is soft and. Um, and then my my. Uh,